hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today we're going to be making this tasty sweet delicious bell pepper sauce ladies this one is definitely for bae okay see if you make this dish for bae see that same day he'll tell you that he wants to marry you let me just see matter of fact let's just jump straight into the video <laughs> So for our ingredients, we're going to be needing red bell peppers, which is the main ingredient. We're also going to be needing carrots, which is definitely optional, and also mackerel fish as well. And for the rest of the ingredients, I'm just going to be writing their names on it. So I know these ingredients might seem like they're a lot, but trust me, they're not. They're just basic kitchen ingredients that you already have in your kitchen already. So just make sure you check. <laughs> Okay guys, so my fish is washed nice and clean and I'm just going to be cutting it into smaller pieces. Don't look at my nails. <laughs> and then after that, I'm just going to be seasoning it with some ginger powder, some garlic powder, and also some beef bouillon. Guys, this thing, I'm addicted to this thing. It's like my favorite spice in the world. I don't know. And I'm also adding some curry powder in it, some black pepper, and also some after adding all those ingredients, I'm going to use my fingers and really rub the ingredients into the fish and then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to keep the fish aside for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, so once the fish is marinating, I'm just going to go ahead and start prepping for the sauce and here I'm going to be blending the celery stick, the fresh ginger, the fresh garlic and onions and also the bell peppers that's those are the only ingredients that i'm going to be blending and guys i'm blending it without water okay you don't need water to blend these ingredients just go ahead and blend them just like that the ingredients have enough water to blend once i've blended the ingredients i'm going to be chopping some onions guys and look i just cut my finger <laughs> anyways i went ahead and i just wore some protective things and also a glove in it once I finish chopping the onions, I'm going to put some oil in a frying pan. I always use canola oil. Then once it's hot, I'm just going to add some onions. The onions that I was chopping that made me cut my finger. <laughs> I'm going to add the onions into the frying pan that already has the canola oil. And then I'm just going to stir it and stir it for about two minutes. And then after that, I'm just going to be adding the blended ingredients. Remember the bell peppers, the onions, the ginger, the garlic, and the celery. I just added those into the um hot oil with the onions then I'm just going to stir it and then I'm just going to just cover the pot and just leave it there so once the thing is the bell pepper sauce is already in the frying pan I'm going to be working on the fish and before I always fry my fish I put some onions into the um the fish oil just for some extra flavor and then I'm just going to be adding the fish into it and in between that, I'm just going to also be checking the bell pepper sauce. Mind you guys, this bell pepper sauce is on medium heat. Because if it's on high heat, it's going to burn at the bottom and we don't want that. So I'm just going to be doing both the bell pepper sauce and the fish just going back and forth. And as you can see right here, I'm just flipping the fish over. It has been frying for about 6 minutes. Guys, I don't really like frying my fish for too long because I still want it to be moist and juicy, you know. If you fry it for too long, it's going to be dry and we don't want that. Anyways, this is the end result of the fish. And then I'm just going to go back to my bell pepper sauce and then I'm just going to like stir it, you know. When you constantly stir it, it stops it from um, burning at the bottom. Okay guys, so once most of the water in the sauce has dried up, I'm just going to be adding some of the dry ingredients, the curry powder, some dry ginger, some dry garlic, some um black dry thyme, that's dry thyme. <laughs> some black pepper and some beef bouillon of course. Some um salt and also bay leaves, which is definitely optional. Then I'm just going to mix everything together. So after mixing, I'm just going to be taking some of the oil that I used in frying the fish to um, add into the sauce because as you can see, the sauce has soaked up all the oil that we added in the beginning and in order for this to fry, it needs oil. So we're just going to be adding that oil into it and then we're just going to stir it. I went ahead and I added one habanero into the pot because I like it. 
spicy okay if you don't like it spicy this step is definitely not for you go ahead and skip it and i'm going to be working on my basil and parsley i'm just going to be chopping it you see chop 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 okay and i'm going to be using a grater just to grater the carrot guys i'm trying to make this carrot as thin as possible because i just want the nutrients i don't even want you to know that there's carrot inside i have a lot of carrot and that's why i'm using it and i'm pouring it into the pot and i'm going to be adding white pepper towards the end the reason why i'm adding the white pepper is because it smells better when you add it towards the end then i'm going to stir it then i'm just going to be carefully placing the fish okay guys i'm just doing that so that it will not break then i'm going to be mixing everything see i'm doing it very gently because i don't want to break the fish because like a child or anyone else you don't want them to be eating and just seeing bones because that that's just annoying to eat with after that i tasted it and some things were lacking so i'm just going to be adding curry powder um beef bouillon and also some salt and then after that i'm just going to mix everything together guys my trick with cooking is like start off small because if you start off small and at the end you taste and everything is not good you can always fix it instead of starting off much because if you put too much it'll be more difficult to fix okay guys after adding the fish i let it stay on the fire on low heat for about five minutes just so that the fish could soak up some of those juices from the sauce and guys just look it looks so so delicious anyways guys you can eat this recipe with yams with rice with plantains whatever it is and i've also tried this recipe with gold and beef and it was just so so yummy i'm going to be eating mine with basmati rice guys if you're eating this use basmati rice okay anyways this is my plate just look at that it's looking so yummy so inviting i know you want some anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it comment share and subscribe okay until next time